Hello, in this Friday Functions video, I'm going to fix a mistake. So I had done a video a while back showing you how you can leverage manage metadata tags. I'll put the link to that video below. But what I had added to the standard form for a list that had manage metadata in a column here is I added this little tag icon, which led to a screen where you could dynamically add just by clicking on the tags that are available in that node and or subtract tags. So the X would take it away and the plus sign would add it. And you could play like that for a while until you were happy. And then you would click this and it would save it to that list item. So now it would be in the tag section. However, somebody caught something interesting that I didn't think about. Now, this definitely can be used for editing these tags right here, but if you wanna use my little snazzy design, what they found out is that the X's don't work if the item had already been saved. So if it wasn't done during this session, it had already been saved to the SharePoint list. So for instance, let's find account management. That's this one right here. If I hit this X, look, it doesn't go away. If I add a new one, yes, the X works. But if I try to get rid of an old one, it doesn't. Good catch. You know who you are. So here's what I found out was wrong. And you can, let's go into it and look at the, look at the formula. All right, so I'm gonna go into this gallery and select that icon, which is simply an X icon. Now what I have on here is remove choice update this item. Well, it didn't look wrong to me, right? So I took the same code, this is how I troubleshooted this, and I added an X to the top gallery, right? So I just kind of put an X up there to see if, if I use the same code up there, would it be any different? Because this is two galleries, but they're both pointing to the same collection. So I went ahead and put the on select in here to match the formula below. And by golly, that one worked. So I'm confused now, right? Because I don't know why this one's working and that one's not, it's the same exact code. So I, I figured it out. Did you guys figure it out? Do you wanna think about it for a minute? Pause the video. I bet you, you can get what's wrong. I'm gonna take the X away here and now I'm going to fix this formula. The problem is, I am referring to this item. And for some reason, this gallery is smarter than I thought. It is only keeping and keeping track of the items that are being pushed through this gallery, this item pushed up above. So I'm going to actually use remove if. Now there's two options I have here. I can change the remove and use a first in here, but I'm actually gonna do remove if. And since I know that the most um, unique thing with meta managed metadata terms is the GUID, I'm gonna use the GUID and I'm gonna say if the term GUID equals this item, term GUID. So now I'm actually referring to the collection, right? That's up here, that's being used up here. And I'm, 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 I'm saying remove if this applies, okay? So let's try this, I'll add one. And then I'll take away support delivery because that was there before. Yep, it works. Okay, so you've got two basic choices. Remove if, if you want to you remove, use remove and not remove if, there is an option. I did note these down. So the option for regular remove without the if is to use the first with the filter. So you would use the first and you would filter the choice update collection and you would still use that condition if the GUID matches this item GUID. That's what went wrong. I wanted to let you guys know so that in case you also run into that problem that you don't get mad at me or anything, right? So let's go back and let's see if it remembers. So let's check that. So let's refresh the data. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna take out account management Okay, it's gone up there. When I patch, I'm patching that 
collection. I don't see it here. Notice there's only three. Support delivery, user experience, and solutions. Okay, so I guess that did work. All right, let's go back. And now we have the three. Okay, so if you had the same problem that that genius had, go ahead and fix it now, because you know how. And guys, do this to me. If you catch that I did something kind of weird and you want to get it fixed, I promise I will look into it and fix it. Just let me know. Put your comments on the community though, rather than under the YouTube video. You guys have an awesome weekend. I have one more video coming at you. It's a short one, um, but I'll be talking to you soon. Have a great weekend.